Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Sorry that I've been gone for a little bit. I um, got COVID over the weekend, or over the weekend, over Christmas weekend. Um, I started showing symptoms on around the 25th. No, 26th, sorry. Um, so I just want to apologize ahead of time for the sneezing, my voice, just, it, it's, it's been a heck of a few weeks, so, um, if there's a lot of ums and pauses, it's because I'm still having problems thinking clearly, so, forgive me and hang in there with me, please, thank you. Um, so I'm going to do a pendant using this. Turquoise tutorial I found on Sculpey.com <clears throat> and it's going to be probably a two piece and it'll be similar to the one that I did uh, for my friend that sent me a gemstone. Um, I did post a picture and a question on the Happy Play Studios asking if you guys would like to see that um, as the next tutorial so that's what, what I'm going to do today. This is 18 karat gold and burnt umber um, mixed together and it makes a rich bronze color. And so the background is going to be this texture that I got from Blueberry Beads. So this will be the background texture in this color and then I'll use either one of these on top like that. So. Um, and then I'll use some molds and, uh, sorry guys, words are just <laughs> absent from me today. Um, I'll use the extractor, extruder, geez, see what I mean? And the molds to make, you know, little pieces that go with it too. So, I don't know if I've showed in my other two videos how I texture my pieces, so... Just go ahead and show you real quick how I do it. Um, these sponges my husband got from the Dollar Tree and they are awesome. They work really well. The other ones that I've gotten, the foam part was way too stiff. But these are pretty good, so I like it. it the, the sponge part gives really well and it rolls the clay really nice like it makes it stick in there really nice so I'm gonna find which side or which part I want let me and I kind of want this area to be there. so what I do is I push it down with my fingers first because I don't know if it's the material that this we'll oh, see it's coming up this um, actual texture stamp is made out of but it was when I did it a minute ago it was not trying to stay and it was coming up really bad so I figured I'll try to push it in with my fingers first just to get it to stay so it doesn't come up okay there we go now I've seen other people when they roll their Play on the um, texture sheet. People say, "Don't roll it back and forth. Don't this. Don't do that." I don't know. Just do it. However, it works for you. If it works for you, rolling it back and forth, then that's what you do. It works for me, so that's what I'm gonna do. Especially with this one because it is coming up. So I'll just hold it down with my fingers and then I'm going to try to push it in there. My fingers and see if that works better. And then I'll go over it with the sponge because I want texture from the back of my piece. Oh, and I rolled this on a number two. And you can find the recipe for the color mix the 18 karat and the burnt umber I believe it's one part 18 karat and three part burnt, burnt umber but 
check just in case. And again, that's on Sculpey.com. And it's just under turquoise is all I did. Okay, let's see. Push a little bit more in there. Sorry, this is taking so long. I just want to get a really, really good texture. Oh yeah, that's nice. That came out really nice. Okay, so then... Sorry, I was trying to make sure you guys are in view. I'll just take this and like... I don't know if I want to use this one. No, we'll use this one. And then figure out where I want it to be. Probably right there. And then I also do this right here. Because this is going to be the actual shape. And I got this cutter from the Creative Dork. And I believe it's two inches. Let's see. Yeah, it's two inches. I love her cutters. She does tutorials too. If you guys are interested in that. It's the creative dork. Okay. And then let me put this here. And just kind of see how that's going to look. Let me come down a little bit. I kind of want to get this part. So let's see. Let me raise it up a little bit. Let me move it over a little bit. I could always, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to turn it to the right a little bit. I kind of like, okay, <laughs> we're going all over the place here now. Yeah, that's how I'm going to do it because I like this part too. So, I'll try to get it even and then cut it. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's going to be really nice. Okay, so now I have to figure out, let me move this stuff, how I want to decorate it. Like what I'm going to use as far as, I think I want to use flowers this time and of course some vines or something. I got a bunch of molds and, um, well, some flower and leaf molds from Amazon. These ones. I had some other ones that are similar, but this rose detail and these are a lot nicer than the other ones I have. And these were pretty cheap. They, I think I got six of them or eight of them for $10 or something. So it's not bad. And, and the impression is really good. So... Let me um, come up with a plan here because I really haven't thought this all the way through and figure out exactly what I want to do and I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back guys. <clears throat> I go off camera and I practice a little bit to figure out what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to take this 18 karat golden burnt umber mixture roll it out on a number two and you want it to be kind of thick because you need it to stick out of the mold that you're going to use so you can trim it and I'll show you what I mean okay so then I'm going to take the mold and I'll spray it. I'll spray it in the area that I want that I'm going to cut or trim, however you want to say it. 
sorry. Make sure I'm up here in the camera. So then, so say I want this area here. Take a little piece. And press it in with your fingers to get it to start sticking. And if it lifts, I found that as long as you stick it right back down in the same spot, like if it pulls up a little bit and you just push it right back, you should be good. I haven't had any issues with that. So then I'll push it oh, with the sponge. And I want to make sure I get get kind of a really raised texture because I'm going to shave it. Yeah, see it didn't double stamp or anything. So then I'll take my blade and I'll hold it at this end. Let me move this so I don't accidentally cut it because I've done that before. And then just, you got to be careful. Please don't cut yourself because of me. <laughs> and just shave it. And then once you get it started, you can grab this end and pull. And I let go of it. There's a good piece. There's a piece. And then turn it this way. Oh. Start at this end and then go back towards it. There we go. There's some good pieces. And I'll probably have to do it again because that's not going to be enough, of course. But I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what I do. So then, I'll find like where I want it to go on there. And I'm going to have to do this again because I didn't cut it right or I didn't shave it good enough. So give me a second and I'll do it again. Okay guys, I'm back. Try this again. If it doesn't work on your first try, that's okay. Cut off a little piece. And I don't know if you saw what I did there. I kind of like, see right there, I twisted it or turned it, curved it. Sorry, words are just not my friend today. And then, like I said, you want to get a good thick impression to where you can shave it. Okay, let's see. Okay, there. That's good. So then, hold on, let me wipe, wipe this off real quick. You hold it at one end. Hold the blade flat. This is how I get it started. And then once I get it started, I just pull it through. If you attempt this, please be careful, guys. I would feel terrible if someone got cut because of me. And 
But if you kind of use your like thumb and your middle finger to hold it while you're pulling it through, you should be okay. There we go. So then, you'll just want to figure out the placement. And it probably, I know it doesn't look that great right now, but it will. You just have to like build. Build on it. And then if it's too thin or if I can't make it work, I'll just try it again. But it's all really about placement and piecing it together. See? So, we'll carefully lift that off there because I got to get liquid clay going. Okay. So, let me grab the liquid clay and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back guys. And I just squirt a little bit on my marble piece here because it's easier to wipe it off <laughs> and you don't have to dirty anything else. And we'll just I'm gonna be back. I really appreciate you guys hanging in there with me and not unsubscribing or anything like that and giving me time and I also appreciate those of you who have checked in with me. Thank you. Check on me. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I just know that God <clears throat> been looking out for me. Kept us safe. We didn't get, you know, too sick. And we avoided getting it for three years wearing our mask I believe you no know, one time kind of like slip up we get it so I just saw on the news that it's coming back with a vengeance so everyone please be careful okay so it fell apart <laughs> that's okay because I'm gonna piece it together that's fine I just like the look of this because like how the ends like are just like jagged and they hang like they're not I just like it I don't know so I'm gonna see about the placement here I'm gonna cut a little bit off of this because that's not how I want it and I'm gonna cut it at an angle and I may cut that little piece that's hanging depending on how it looks And I may keep it. Hmm. Let's cut it off. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Let's cut it off. It flipped around the back. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get that off. That's okay. I won't be able to see it anyway. So then, take some liquid clay. If you guys have any questions, if you have anything you need help with, Please don't hesitate to message me. Leave a comment. You can message me on Facebook. It's Share Glass Nut for those of you who don't know who found me. Other means than Facebook. Um, or my Instagram. That's which is Driven Heart Studios. I will be more than glad to help. <clears throat> okay, so then. Place it. Then I take my little blade here and I'll like swirl. 
swoop this piece because I think that'll look nice. Like a little swoop. This one too. Swoop it that way. And then just push it down and make sure it's where you want it. You can use your blade. But be careful because it doesn't knit it. Okay, and so then, oh, that came off. And it's it's fine if if you use pieces or you know however you want to do it, it's fine. Because I think like the pieces and then layering and adding, it just it turns out really nice either way so just gotta mess with it and see what you like sorry i'm trying to figure out how i'm going to cut this so i want it to be kind of like at an angle so i'm going to cut that piece off that way sorry about my dog guys Shh. so i think i'm going to make yeah, I'm going to take it this way. And I'm just going to cut the end at an angle. You wouldn't think that you could take, I mean, unless you're already done it before or something like that but you wouldn't think that you could just take pieces like this and create something but you can thank you and I just use my blade oh and I want like these open spaces and I want that because I'm going to curl it like I did the other one. I want these open spaces. There we go. I'm not going to add like too, too much to it because I don't want to take away from the turquoise. But... And I'm going to put a few pieces on. Okay. And so then you just keep building. So I'm going to, this one, I'm going to cut these. I don't know if you can see it. I might be out of the camera. Sorry about that if I am. So then I like this one too, so I'm just going to cut the edge off so that I can have the scalloped part. See how it's kind of scalloped? And I'll cut, let me cut these out. These pieces are so tiny, it's hard sometimes to... Then, I'm going to see about here. Or do I want it like this? Let me stand up. Sorry, guys. <coughs> So you see, I just keep messing with the placement. Jeez. I'll get it, I promise. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, one second. It is, you know, tedious sometimes, and it is kind of frustrating at times, but you just got to practice and keep messing with it. Okay, I kind of see an issue here. Let me cut the rest of this off. Oh, and it broke, but that's okay. I wasn't, I was thinking about cutting it in. So, cut it at an angle. And I usually do the angles because I like using the ends. To like make that swoop or whatever. I told you guys words are have left me today. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put that there. I tried to record a video two or three days ago, and I just couldn't. I could not think. I couldn't. I was just like, I couldn't get the words out. I was like, you know what? I need another few days of just resting. <clears throat> because I wanted to get a video out. Friday for you guys, but I just, I couldn't, I tried. Okay, let me stand up and see how that looks. Okay, and remember, I'm going to have some, probably other stuff there too, so it's just about, like I said, layering and building. So I still have some pieces here. I can flip them the other way. I just like mess around and see what looks good. No. And then if it doesn't, I will put it back on the texture plate and, or you know, another one, molds, whatever you have. You can use anything. You don't have to use the same stuff that I have. And I have this piece here, so. And this is from a different texture stamp that I have. I don't know if this will work. This is just something I had laying around, so let's see. If it doesn't, that's okay. I can cut it. Okay. Let me come up with something, figure out what I'm going to do, and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back, guys. This is an IOD mold, and I got it from Texas Inwalls, which is just a website here in America, in case you're not in America. Um, and it came in a few days, and they're like $20, $25, so. Um, same thing, same principle. It works the same way as the texture stamp. You just... Pick the area that you want and then press it in. And I, this black is rolled on a number two as well. Make sure that you push down in there really good so that you'll get a really nice raised impression and have, have it, you know, thick enough to where you can shave it. And this video is going to be in maybe two or three parts because I have to make them short or it takes forever to load or, you know, and I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so. And plus these take a little time. I've already spent like half an hour doing just this part, so find out like what part you want on there. And of course you could go the other way. And I like these roses, so I'm going to try to start... I can always do more, but I hate, like, having to keep spending time doing it, but that's okay. And then just do the same thing. And if it comes apart, that's okay. But I want these flowers. 
I kind of wanted this leaf, but I have to do it again. That's fine. That's the part about it. Uh, if it doesn't, you know, you don't get the right parts the first time, you have to redo it. And I'm going to cut where I smashed it. Okay, I'm going to have to redo it, so give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I figured out the problem. It was probably because I had too short a piece, and I couldn't, you know, I didn't have anything to grip onto. But now I, I picked this place that I wanted, and like I said, I wanted the roses, so I'll just go a little bit above it and see how much easier it's coming. And this is Sculpey Floof Souffle Poppy Seed, by the way. Then turn it the other way and go the other way. And then it comes off. Oh, I broke it. That's okay. Okay, there we go. So now we have this, and I have this piece too that I can use. Now I have a problem because I kind of like this on there better. But, okay, let me see if I can move this part down on the side. this happens and you have to move something it can be done just take your time use your blade oh I like that down there better anyway <laughs> okay yeah I like that there anyway better anyway then I kind of want this to go there like that Yes, see what I mean? Layering, texturing, it's awesome. Works really well. Okay, so. Sorry guys, I got a little excited. That's really pretty. I'll probably keep this for myself. Or make me another one. <laughs> Someone really wants it. Do you guys wear your own jewelry, like, not just as an advertising, but just because you have made something that you really like? Let me know down in the comments if you wear your own stuff. Or do you make jewelry for your friends and family? Do you have anyone, like, model it for you? I've made uh, all the girls in my family, not all the girls, but my two daughter-in-laws and my daughter. I made my son, my son some bracelets for Christmas. I made them, um, what's it called, uh, Byzantine links. Made all the boys Byzantine link bracelets. And I made the girls some bracelets and different stuff. I, I posted on Facebook the pictures of that. And they were really surprised. They're like, you made this? I can't believe you made this. Like, we know you're talented, but geez. <laughs> made my heart melt. I was like, oh, kids are cute. <laughs> and so see, I put that piece there. But I want to be careful because I don't want to cover up too much of the turquoise, so... Put it on the side here. Like that. 
which I think that's what I'll do. So let me cut it in half. Because I don't want it to take away from the background there. And then I could maybe use that somewhere else too. And as you notice, I, I stick it there before I actually put any liquid clay on the back. Because if that's not where I want it, I don't want to, you know, put the clay. And then I just mess around to find out the best area, best spot. Yeah. I feel like there would be the best spot. If there's anything that you guys would like me to do, let me know. If there's anything that you want to see, let me know. I'll try to get it done. But give me suggestions, comments. Please like, subscribe. Well, since it's sticking to my finger, I'm going to take advantage of that and use it to stick it to the pendant. Okay, so there we go. Let me know what you guys think so far. Um, I'm probably going to stop it here because, like I said, the longer I go, the longer it takes to upload. And also, that way, you guys can, you know, it's not taking a long time. Okay, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Again, if you have any questions, need help with anything, please let me know. I'll see you soon. Thanks. Have a great day.